Season 5 is here along with the cars and it's gonna be interesting guys. It's gonna be interesting because it's not actually what I was expecting. I mean, I knew that at one point we're gonna have cars and such. And also I knew that we're gonna have the new map, but this new map is like insanely big. It's five times bigger as Northridge. There are huge distances and it's like a completely different game. So if I compare like TB Station to the new mine map, I would say that those maps, these game modes require a totally different playstyle, approach and basically everything. It's a completely different game. And uh, when I started doing YouTube and playing with games, I decided that I'm always going to be honest to myself and my viewers. And I have the feeling that if this would have been the original map, not Farm and Valley and TV Station, well, TV Station was added later, but if this would have been the first map, then I think the game wouldn't be as successful as it is because this is giving you more of like a, a battlefield experience, okay? And there are a couple of things which I want to highlight, but before I go into the details, uh, I just wanted to let you know that this is not like my favorite map or my favorite edition. It's crazy, it's fun, it's interesting, it's new, but it's like, meh, okay. And let, let me tell you why. As a solo player, you are most likely not going to like the map because I think this map has been designed for teams. So if you have a full team and you are on comms and then you agree that, you know, I'm going to drive the car, you guys, you know, sit here. We're going to have one sniper and two guys with assault rifles or whatever. And then we're going to go from one location to the other. We're going to clear that area and then we're going to move forward. In that case, perfectly fine. Those teams and those friends or those groups are going to love this map because it's going to be very interesting for them to kind of you know, check the whole map and then drive out of the map and then extract. But if you're a solo player or if you are playing with randoms, then this game or this game or this map is going to be like there is no point playing this in solo except if you are a lone wolf or lonely wolf with a sniper you get yourself a car, you drive to different locations, you hunt some people, and then you extract from the map. But I feel like that this, this map is very dependent on the car, because if you lose your car or if you don't have a car, then it's all about running for minutes. And, and the terrain isn't that interesting. So everything is like desert or sand. And I was running from one location to the other. And this was the very first time in Arena Breakout where I felt that I'm somewhat bored. I didn't actually you know, look at my screen. I was just automatically running and I was checking my other phone to do something else because it became boring that I have to run 1,500 meters. Um, and, and by default, I don't like that. So if I need to extract from Northridge Hotel and I need to run for 800 meters, that's, that's almost crossing the line for me. That's, oh, that's just too much running. And here, I know it's beta, so there's nothing actually to be lost. But I felt like that I don't even mind if I just get shot. I just want to get to the next location. And I say that because in one of the games, I lost my car. I was crashing it. I was actually falling down a rock. And uh, there is no way to turn it back. You cannot nade the car, so you cannot move the car. If you lose your own car, then your only option is to um, use your teammate's car. I mean, sit into your teammate's car because you cannot use that. You can only drive your own car. And for me, this is why it became somewhat boring. But then I set myself a new objective. I ran to one of the airdrops in which I found literally nothing and then there was something happening in one of the locations. I guess the boss was spawning there and you have that indicated on a map. I was going to that location. I could kill a guy with full T6 alien helmet and uh, like very juicy stuff. And then I, I decided to extract and the extract was, I don't know, 800 meters away. And I started running. It was boring. I couldn't climb up the hill and I saw that I need to like run around and climb up the hill to somehow get out of the map. 
and then out of the blue somebody shot me from behind like from 200 meters because everything is open you don't have trees you don't really have too much you know things where you can hide so it's not full of trees i'm that type of guy who likes tv station and the smaller the map the more action i like that but it's my personal opinion again let me remind you i'm i'm sharing that because this is my opinion it wouldn't make sense for me as a creator to say that this is crazy nice i love it if i inside don't really like it and uh guys i've been playing a couple of games where you can jump into a car and drive like, you know guys what i'm talking about the so fps games where you can drive some kind of vehicle uh so obviously i have some experience with that and no, it's not better or worse, it's <laughs> it's as terrible as I expected it to be. Like this game is not designed for you know for street races or such. It's fun though. It's it's really fun, uh, but a bit of a like uh, this is arena breakout, so this we got that far that we are having vehicles and yeah the idea of having cars is okay but the execution of it like you know I'm, I'm not that satisfied on how it feels to drive the car and honestly i haven't been missing this feature from the game so i would have been a bit more happy if we get other exciting things i didn't think of any but eventually some kind of new extraction modes that you need to do something in order to extract or some kind of uh, i don't know map related challenges that you need to do something in order to achieve something or unlock something i would be interested more in those type of additions cars are like okay but tv station close range and mine with the cars is so far away that i i'm somewhat afraid that it's going to divide the existing player base the players are going to decide whether they want to play like tv station ish port ish maps or mine uh, where you have the huge distances and those players most likely they never gonna meet because if you master one of the maps then you don't really wanna like risk all your stuff just because that map is different especially not if you are not enjoying um, that you need to run for for minutes but again i don't want to be negative here this map is excellent for teams people who actually team up and play together. And I think with that, we kind of pretty much covered the mine map, but we have other additions as well, guns. Everybody is interested in guns. And the first one I want to highlight is the MCX. It's not MPX, it's not MP5, it's MCX, which is like a hybrid of uh, MPX and I don't know, M4. So basically you can use the ammunition from the M4 and put it into your MCX. Um, therefore, we're gonna have, I would assume more firepower or maybe it's gonna do more damage. And if that's the case, then this is gonna be one of my favorite SMGs going forward because I love the MPX, but if the MCX is gonna be even stronger, then this is gonna be my default weapon for TV station and other maps. So that new SMG is a big W for me at least. Other guns, like we have the new RPD, which I, I guess falls into the heavy machine guns category because it comes with a huge drum. Like you can put in uh, 100, uh, I mean the magazine can hold up to 100 ammunition. And I feel like it's, like just another gun that has been added to the game but i don't really feel that this is going to be widely used at least not on the maps we are used to but maybe on the new map where you have the big distances you need that big drum because maybe you're going to start firing you know enemies from a distance and you just keep shooting in the hope that you're going to that you're going to hit somebody because on mine, I, I think most of the kills are gonna happen um, from, a, from a far distance. And if you are not that sniper type of guy, then this RPD uh, could be an option. Although I didn't check um, if it's accurate on a long distance. But we have another like big gun, a big heavy gun, the M249, which is again the type of uh, machine gun, which comes with a, a 50 round mag and a 100 round mag. 
So you can put in tons of bullets and you can just spray and keep spraying. This is going to be an exciting one, I think. But actually, even, even the RPD could be one that you could be using on TV station. I need to give that a second thought because it, it could allow you to like pre-fire and uh, just keep shooting. I don't know. I need to experiment with that after we have uh, season five live. But uh, this M249, this comes with um, with stats that allow you to use the gun from, from far away, which is interesting because I would assume that if you have a heavy machine gun, then it's more like close range and it's not that accurate if you're trying to aim at somebody who is far away. But it seems like that this M249 is one of those weapons which you can equip with a 4x zoom or even a bigger zoom. I, again, I played one game with it and I felt like that it's pretty accurate, but maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm just sharing my first impressions here, okay? I didn't do a deep research or such, but based on what I saw, the M249 is something you can you can use on a, I mean, from a distance. And then ultimately we have an AK-12, so not SK-12 or S-12K and not AK-12. 120 or 102 no it's an ak-12 and on first sight i couldn't actually decide if that's gonna be a shotgun or an assault rifle it's an assault rifle and i feel like again like meh, meh. i mean do we actually need that so we have so many guns in the game already and many of them are not even used some of them are good but since they have been lately added to the game People just don't pick them up. But we start to have many weapons nobody uses. Like, I don't see people running with an AKM, for example. The AN-94 is very rare. People are not playing the MDR. Um, and there are multiple other weapons which are not highly used. Like the AK-12, I think it's going to fall into this category. I think it's going to be a cheap gun. Uh, maybe fit nicely into, like, budget builds, but... I don't see the necessity of this new gun because it's not unique. If you already have something that exists, then why, why do we need anything that would be very similar? On top of the guns and the map, we have a couple of new items, like not painkillers, but pain injection. And then we have a new med kit, which um, is like a search kit. You can use it to like like, like, you know, fix your broken leg and stuff like that. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered kind of the majority of things I wanted to cover in this video, like the first impressions and first feelings about season five. But if there's anything you want me to check or talk about, to share my opinion about, then please use the comment section or hop to my Discord and ask me to do that. I'm happy to record more about season five. And actually, there's one more thing. I'm not sure how people are going to play when this new map is going to go live. But at the moment, everybody is like running thermos and T6 and stuff like that because they don't care about losing it. So maybe the map is going to be different once it's live. Maybe people are not going to dress up into the like juicy loadouts. And maybe because of that, it's going to be more interesting. But now all you see is thermos, like MK14s and AX-50s and stuff like that, and it's very easy to die. Again, if you don't have a car and if you need to run from location A to B, and that's like 800 meters, and literally there is no chance to check like everything that is surrounding you. So running from location A to B can always be risky, and I think it's going to remain to be risky once the map is live. Anyways, folks, I really hope you're going to enjoy Season 5. And don't forget that we're not just going to have the new stuff. We're going to have everything we already have in the game, not just vroom, 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 cars and mine. We're going to have everything we already like and love to play. And I'm not sure, guys, if you saw, but I actually hit somebody with the car. I actually killed somebody with a car. It was on the second game or the third game and I, I didn't actually know that you can hit somebody like with a car. You cannot move your car so you can keep spamming nades and such. You cannot like like move it physically uh, if it's upside down but you can use it to kill people. And I think that's a nice way to close the video so shoot loot subscribe and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye. Mm -hmm.